Here in FEU, we stand for future ready learning, for continued education, not just for our students, but also for ourselves. Because by learning more about our students, we learn how to be better educators. For educational innovations. Because better, more responsive teaching techniques that put emphasis on learning instead of just passing, help our students be better prepared for the future. For turning knowledge into wisdom, not just accumulating it. So we can fulfill the potential of every student to be a future leader and not just an achiever. We are FEU, and we stand for a future-ready generation. We stand for future-ready learning. The university is surrounded by lush greenery, which makes the environment very pleasant. Participating in various student organizations has given me a wide variety of leadership skills. The teaching methods, along with the learning culture, has made me well equipped to talk the board exam. We can experience a variety of extracurricular activities throughout the semester. English is used as the medium of instruction in most of our classes to help prepare students for work both here and abroad. As faculty of FEU, we engage in ongoing research, encourage scholarly discussions, and contribute in academic publications. I was able to get a job right after graduation thanks to FEU's collaborations and English departments. The University Student Exchange Program gave me the opportunity to study in another country, to broaden my horizon, and to experience new culture. Connectivity is available in every part of the university, from the classrooms to the park, canteens, and even the hallway. The university is well equipped with specialized learning spaces such as nursing rooms, a mock hotel, and even a TV studio. This gives you a close to real life experience. I really believe that FEU can bring out the best in all of us. to welcome each and every one of you again to our day four of the flexible training for wired flexible learning and a project of the far eastern university and chad hayed by Nihan. all right allow me to greet uh the, the rest uh, several of our uh, muslim uh, online teachers are celebrating their new year so it's happy new year or happy amon hadith Okay, and I uh, earlier I also saw someone uh, showing me the how to greet, but I'm having problem. I do I cannot see the Q and A right now. But uh, greeting in the dialect of the people in Batanes. So from Batanes 
Tusulu, we have participants in Tusulu. Again, marami, maganda umaga sa inyong lahat. Um, I was saying a while ago, uh, we're having internet problems, but I hope you're all are able to connect somehow. And I'm worried about the participants from Masbate. I don't see them online, so let's all pray for them. And hopefully they're they're good, they're they're safe, and let's all pray for the recovery of the people in Masbate. So this morning uh, we shall start with the presentation, a recap of yesterday's what took place yesterday, and at the same time we will uh, be informed of what's up for today. Okay, what activities are we going to have today? So please allow me now to introduce once again the head for this uh, faculty training for Wired Flexible Learning FAU Chen Bayanihan Project. Okay, please welcome Dr. Mayet Rivera. Good morning, everyone. Hello, good morning. I hope uh, everyone uh, is uh, up and about on this beautiful day. Uh, again, mayung buntag sa tanan, magandang umaga, assalamualaikum sa atong mga uh, kauban diha sa Mindanao at sa uban pang uh, parte sa Pilipinas. At uh, napakaganda po ng umaga ngayon. Uh, siguro sa iba, uh, ito ay uh, umuulan. Uh, pero sa ngayon po, uh, palagay ko ay uh, tayo lahat ay nagkakaroon ng iba-iba o iba't-ibang mga uh, damdamin, iba't-ibang mga uh, kalagayan sa ating buhay. Pero despite that, no, bagamat sa tawag sa tawag pa nila sa Tagalog, bagamat uh, ganun po ay uh, marami rin po tayong uh, nakikita na mga pangyayari kagaya nitong uh, CHED, uh, FEU CHED, High Ed Bayanihan. So this is occupying us and I hope uh, we are all uh, learning from this session. This is day four of our session. As a recap of yesterday, you were mentioning that uh, we had, uh, how many presenters did we have yesterday? We had, we had three, three, uh, three. Yeah, three presenters, yes. no? the whole day uh, we had three presenters. So we would like to uh, ano, no? uh, give a recap of that. Uh, pero kung hindi um, mapasok ang ating slide, no, while I'm, while the technicals are still doing that. So uh, yesterday in the morning we had uh, at the module four. We're at module four yesterday already. Teaching and learning online for declarative and functioning knowledge-based cello or uh, course uh, expected learning outcomes. So. Ang um, sana po ay natutunan natin kahapon uh, paano mag-construct ng declarative and functioning uh, knowledge-based uh, cellos no at uh, mapapasok na po natin yan sa ating CIB. Our speaker also yesterday si Mr. Ariel Kapati explained the methods that can be used to teach these uh, two functions uh, declarative and uh, sorry two knowledge declarative and functioning knowledge. So uh, binigyan niya rin po tayo ng santambak ng mga uh, links sa ating mga resources at magagamit na resources online para po ma-i-apply ma natin itong ating learning activities at maka-design din po tayo. Sa umaga din, uh, napaka-jump pack ng ating morning, no? nagkaroon po tayo ng tech shop where we use LMS in online delivery for declarative and functioning knowledge at inintroduce na po sa inyo ng ating speaker ang Moodle. Uh, so, sa Moodle po, uh, I think most of you have the Moodle already. Uh, the Moodle is uh, that uh, learning management system that we are using uh, and we will be using for uh, this uh, morning. I Sorry, for the whole period uh, from yesterday, no? kasi nabigay na po sa nyo, hanggang uh, tomorrow. So, yun po, nag-practice po tayo ng konti. Meron po tayong mga videos sa Moodle. And then, in the afternoon, uh, we had assessing and grading online where we selected uh, the most appropriate assessment tool. So, Dean Harold of the Institute of Education uh, gave us that uh, session for assessment and grading online. And it was a very exhaustive and comprehensive session uh, yesterday. 
So, sana po ay marami tayong nakuha, especially on assessing case-based learning projects, group works, and problem-based learning projects. So, ngayong araw po, ang ating gagawin ay magkakaroon tayo sa fourth day ng tech shop this morning. We will be exploring the different assessment tools in the learning management system. Uh, na yung pong model natin ay atin na pong tututukan ngayon. And I hope everyone, marami na po sa atin, ang, uh, almost lahat po sa atin ay nakakuha na ng link dun sa model. So we hope that you have uh, already practiced a little bit on the learning management system that we are now, that we have onboarded yesterday. And uh, sa hapon, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng, on, ng presentation on performance-based assessment. And we have another speaker on that. Uh, we also would like you to have an application on designing your CIB for flexible learning. So, yung pong iba nag-comment na sa atin yesterday that you have already decided your uh, decide, that you have uh, designed your CIB. So, sana po nag, uh, nagpapatuloy ang pag-design natin ng CIB ngayon. At kung meron po tayong natitirang oras mamaya, ngayon itong umaga na ito, no? magkakaroon po tayo ng tech shop. So, uh, pwede po tayong mag-question and answer about sa CIB. And kung pwede po ay uh, pag practice na natin, paano natin i-upload yon sa ating model kahit draft lang. no We work, it's a work in progress. So, uh, tandaan lang po natin na ang CIB is our final output. It is to design an online course information booklet. And it is highly encouraged that you can upload your CIB on Moodle, uh, the Moodle that we gave you, the Moodle link, uh, beginning Thursday, today. Uh, meron na pong ready kahapon, imagine. Uh, Gustong-gusto na po nila talagang mag-upload. Uh, from today, no, sana po uh, hanggang mamayang gabi, hanggang uh, sa Friday morning. <clears throat> Kasi po, uh, meron marami pong experts natin sa IE and especially po si Ms. Andrea, yung speaker natin on CIB. She is uh, looking through, she will be looking through uh, sa model and uh, will give you guideposts or mga tips para mapa-improve ang ating CIB. Uh, remember po, ang CIB natin is the final output of this training. That's what I said yesterday. So, sana po makasubmit tayong lahat. Uh, Ini-encourage po namin. Alam po namin na medyo mahirap ang uh, CIB na ganun hindi naman siguro sa atin na gumagawa na ng course outlines. We will just transform it uh, into a syllabus and then into a CIB. And we hope that you can really pray that you can at least give us your version of the CIB uh, by Friday morning. Kasi po, sa Friday afternoon, we just would like to look forward to that because you will be separated into breakout groups and magkakaroon po tayo ng parang... Um, expert uh, teacher session, uh, ma-experience rin po maging studyante ni teacher, ng ating mga teacher galing po sa FEU para po sa ating parang one-on-one, -on -one, not really one-on-one, -on one-on-group, uh, but by clusters of the uh, subjects, uh, you will be on a breakout session. So we hope you can look forward to that and uh, uh, we'd like to uh, give you a short quotation, the best way uh, for today and for the rest of our session, the best way to predict the future is to create it. So, sana po ay uh, maging enjoyable ang natitirang mga session natin ng ngayon Thursday at Friday. Good morning to everyone and have a best session and a best experience today. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Dr. Mayet Rivera. Uh, starting with a very positive note, and also many of our participants are also wishing us uh, a, a smooth, no technical glitches to happen today. So I'm so glad that everybody is sending all the positivity. Well, some of the friends have also uh, are teaching me now to also greet them in their own uh, dialects, like Maayong uh, aga sa tanan for all of those in the Visayas, uh, Il um, Ilongo speaking areas. And sa Bahukar, I hope I pronounce it, to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. Then for all of those in the Ilocano region, naimbag na adlaw, tayo amin apo. Okay. And uh, from Batanes, finally I was able to reconnect into my uh, chat or Q&A. Uh, from Doreen, she teaches me, Kapian kamo no jos si chamavekas aya. Oh, I hope I got I pronounced it correctly. Anyway, so today is going to be the practical application of uh, the up uh, the 
various uh, strategies that you can be um, used for classes. So kindly make sure you open your Moodle because our teacher Rich, I'm not going to say a lot more about him. Teacher Rich is will be with us and is going to make you do the exercises with him. So at this point, please welcome um, exploring the different assessment tools in LMA. Please once again, which one? Ria Den Lim. Good morning po sa lahat. Ma'am Liz, good morning po. Mukhang Shopee ka ngayon ha. Uh, there are problems with your internet. Actually, maulan po kasi. So pag maulan, mahina-hina po ang ating internet connection. So, um, well, uh, what we will do today is the practical. So, paano yung gagawin natin? You are required actually to open your Moodle accounts. Okay? Um, I'm, I hope that everyone has Moodle account already. If there are none, um, paki-email po yung nag-email sa inyo ng confirmation ng registration. Okay po? Um, I'm, I'm into the Q&A if ever meron pong problems, uh, paki-message lang po sila doon sa Q&A, okay? So actually, um, we have, I I prepared only one slide, di ba? Uh, one slide lang. Uh, we have these set up for this uh, morning session. So it's important that I, I would, for, for example, I'll demo the important course setup. You can follow through. I'll give you probably five minutes in, in creating that kind of a uh, uh, bullet, for example, um, groups and groupings, paano siya gagawin. You may follow through or kunyari ide-demo ko muna. You, I, I'll give five minutes for for the the, uh, the, the application. At least if, if there are questions, um, I can answer it agad-agad. Hindi yung sa huli tayo mat, ma, magkakaroon ng Q&A. Ganun po ang setup natin ngayon. So again, there is this feature and then Q&A and then I'll let you do something also. So FYI, you have two courses in your Moodle. Yung isa po, yun yung practice na kasulat. There's this called practice. Uh, this is where you can practice or add courses. Okay? Uh, add activities. And then the other one is the FEU CHED High Ed um, Bayanihan Files. This is the course wherein you are a student. So this is where you submit your CIPs. Nandyan po yan. Through kay Ma'am Andrea. And then, um, yun din pong, ano, yun din pong, uh, what do you call this? Yung ipapagawa ko sa inyo, okay? So, um, I'll, I'll switch screen. Probably may, magkakaroon lang tayo sandali ng, ano, ng idle. Wait lang po. Okay. Let me take this again. Uh, uh, opportunity to remind everyone, please open your Moodle. Uh, uh, and then I think for those who are having problems with their Moodle, uh, Miss uh, Chini is trying to communicate with you and please make sure you also get in touch with uh, Pipay Quinones. All right, can I reach? And then if you have question and answer, actually every after feature, you may post your questions here so that uh, Rich can immediately respond to you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so, ito po yung Moodle account nyo. Probably, uh, yung, instead of miscellaneous sa inyo, this is the practice, okay? Practice course. So, if you are going to practice or add, for example, I'll, I'll give you a chance to do the, the quiz. Please use the uh, practice, okay? If I say, okay, answer this quiz, please use this FEU Ched High Ed Bayanihan course content. Ma'am Liz, uh, can you see? at your end, yung, yung screen ko. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. we, we, we see you. it okay. Now, can I, uh, wait, Rich, let me uh, make sure that everyone is already on Moodle. Yes, uh, we'll wait for uh, them to be on uh, board. Uh, uh, all right, please, um, you can write in your Q&A if you're good, if you're ready into the Moodle. So I, we can uh, take note and we can start. We want to make sure we're on the same uh, page. Is everyone on board now? Please make sure that, uh, please, ano lang, a short note in the Q&A that you're already on board. So we know, because I would not want Rich to start and then several of you have not yet opened it. You would lose uh, out into the instruction. Anyone? All right. 
Okay, Christina, but ba Baisa says she's good. Wait, come on, all about the others. All right, ready na, Esi no Noli from MSU. Julius is PUP, okay na, how about the others? Very quickly now. All right, and CTU is ready. All right. Okay, despite the high rates, I was told it's raining out there. Okay, Sir Fernando from MSU is okay in. Tagig City is ready. Mark Vincent is in. All right, San Carlos City, Pangasinan in, Polytechnic, okay. Oh, no. oh, there's another one who's on anonymous. Please, I'm sorry, but we cannot, one, issue a certificate of attendance for you. Two, we cannot read your messages. So please make sure that you go back again to the attendance sheet and put in your name and institution. Oh, we have a problem. Um, Christina Baisa is not in yet. Hold on. All right, I'm looking at Okay, there's a problem with the internet connection in PUP Manila. Okay, please restart. Okay, one is asking for the link. We cannot give you the link if you're still anonymous. All set. Okay, several of them are already in. You may start and yes. uh, reach. Yes, okay, ma'am. Thank you po. I'm sure very excited na silang gawin yung ating uh, model. Okay, uh, it's important that we know not just watching the presentations that were given. Uh, it's important that we have to apply these uh, concepts into actually a usable content. So first thing is our, uh, the slide says that my first um, presentation should be important core setup. So bakit kailangan po natin iset up ang course? So it's because this is the facade of our students. So meaning po, kapag ka, uh, pagpasok ng estudyante sa ating kurso, uh, ito yung impression nila. Okay? Uh, it's, it's, it's a bad thing that these students, for example, um, kunyari sa topic 1, nilagay nyo lahat. Imagine kung anong chaos yung mangyayari sa utak ng bata na hindi nyo na-present ng maayos yung mga contents ng isang topic. Okay po? So this uh, thing... Uh, na sinabi ko na important core setup is just a quick minor tweaks para maganda yung presentation ng ating ano, ating uh, model. Okay po. So let's start. Okay. First thing po, uh, yan. pag enter po ninyo ng practice course, pakikita nyo po is uh, uh, these, uh, the announcements. Topics, topic 2, topic 3, and topic 4. Ano po yung ibig sabihin yan? Uh, these are preloaded by uh, Moodle. So, ano siya? Pag uh, ginawa po ni administrator yan, automatic po may topic 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's up to you kung tatanggalin nyo siya o hindi. Paano siya gagawin? In order to edit a course, you have to turn editing on. Yan ang very important uh, rule natin. Okay, sana nadidinig nyo ako na maayos yan. Uh, turn editing on. Okay. Uh, ano yung feature na to? It's, uh, it's a security feature of model para at least hindi, hindi ma-accidentally, for example, ma-move to. Imagine po na move yan eh. Okay. So pag kunyari ang ating malilikot na kamay ay na i-drag accidentally sa baba and then yung announcement nyo would go inside topic 1. So hindi maganda. So let's let's move it out. Yeah. Uh, again, it's important to know that you have the turn editing on. Okay. Para malaman nyo, merong mga parang uh, cross dito sa side. Meron ding pencil. So uh, icons. Yung icons natin is very uh, straightforward. When you say pencil, that's an edit. Okay. That's an edit. Okay. Pag sinabi nating uh, parang uh, uh, icon, it's either a person or a group. Okay. And also, beside everything here, is also an additional edit uh, menu wherein you can uh, have additional uh, advanced options. Dito sa so each topics can be deleted. For example, this one. I'll delete this one. And then delete this one again. And 
then delete. Okay, so um, let's add siguro a file. Uh, in ed, uh, adding a file, it could be here, sa pinaka main, ito siya yung main, or a sub uh, in a topic. Kunyari po, uh, we could uh, either rename this as chapter 1 or sabihin na nating week 1. Okay. okay. Ano yung mga parameters uh, for week 1? Let's go to edit sa tapat ng week 1. Okay. Let's try to edit. Ang tawag po dito sa parang gear na icon is sa uh, technical term is COG. C-O-G. COG. Ayan. So, uh, pwede nga uh, magkaroon tayo ng additional uh, settings uh, in going to week 1. Uh, let's go. Let's try to restrict the access. Uh, ano yung mga restrictions na to? Okay. Um, in creating a topic, it's important you can uh, you can limit it by date. For example, uh, pag clinic natin to, um, the student mat must, for example, date from August 20, okay, again, another date, to August, for example, 26. So, ibig sabihin yan, anything that you upload inside the topic will be accessible only between these dates. So, pag, uh, maganda yan pag na-craft na, na yung inyong CIB, and then, syempre, by week po siya, you can now restrict the access of your students para at least hindi sabog yung uh, kanilang gagawin. Ibig sabog, ibig sabihin po, um, hindi nila, alam nila kung saan muna sila magpo-focus. It's, it's not, uh, mamaya, tumalon sila sa week 18, pwede, pa, pala nilang, uh, ma, pwede na pala nilang sagutan yun kahit hindi nasasagutan yung other topics. So, uh, it's important to set up this uh, um, week first. Uh, balik tayo po. Pag nawawala po kayo, i-click nyo lang po yung nasa taas. Okay? Leave lang po natin. Rich, um, Liz, bahan, po. bahan daw, daw. Slowly daw, slowly. Ay, the so internet natin. connection of the others are a little slow. Sige po, okay and lang. Um, and there's a kind, uh, there's also a request. Not yes. much of Tagalog because not all of them uh, okay, can okay. comprehend Sige Tagalog. Okay, <laughs> okay thank Sige. you. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, so balik po tayo. Uh, let's let's go back to week one. Okay, week one is uh, you can edit the week for an other advanced option. So for example, I'll edit the topic. Okay, week one. Edit the topic here. Uh, you have you can rename the topic. For example, week one. Like introduction to mathematics. Okay, you can add a summary if you want. In my case, it's not. And then let's try to click the restrict access. Okay, restrict access, where you can set the date of the access of the student. For example, I click the date here and set when the week one will start. Okay, this is when the week, week will start. Uh, from August 20, 2020, 12 a.m. That means that um, you are, uh, the students can only access it starting August 20. For example, I set this as uh, 27. The topics inside, uh, the activities inside it will not be accessible. I hope it's clear activities inside the topic cannot be accessed if you set the parameter the date from to 27. So in my case, I'll add, uh, I'll, I'll set it to 20 so that uh, the students can immediately access the topic. Okay. And then next is we can also add when should the students stop accessing the course. We just add, add restriction and then uh, uh, date until okay date from and until so it's between those dates okay so i'll add 27 for example and then probably 11 59 or 55 okay 
So starting 11.56 of August 27, the students can cannot access the topic. Okay? The students can cannot access the topic. After which, let's save changes. And that's it. Okay, so um, Ma'am Liz, I think uh, that's the first activity. I want everyone to create their own topics in their own courses named practice course. All right, as requested, everyone, please make sure that you're in Moodle. I can see that there are a few of you still having problems. Um, we The instruction is for you to get in touch or email jtquinones at feu.edu.ph um, and then for the rest of you please check the if you if the link does uh, fell into the spam folder and then also for the others uh, please try to type in now what may be your concern uh, i hope it has been resolved okay so um, for those of you who, who have uh, con uh, would like to ask a question to sir richmond um, please kindly do so now. Type it in the Q&A so rich, rich one can respond to your questions. Okay, um, meron sinabi dito medyo lumabo po ang screen sa presentation. Um, uh, please reconnect na lang. Ma'am Liz, uh, if for the information of everybody, uh, again, you can re revisit this link after the, the live event is finished so you could at least follow through in uh, the replay. All right. OK, uh, sir, there's a question here. How yes, is Moodle different from Schoology, Schoology, Schoology and Edmodo online platform? Well, uh, I think there are limitations when you are using the free versions of Schoology and uh, Edmodo, which is, uh, I think, a, a, a challenge for the teachers, while Moodle offers free so if your university has Moodle, why not use it? Because uh, you can uh, enjoy the features of the whole Moodle itself. Uh, unlike, uh, I think, uh, yung Edmodo is uh, limited lang to, to certain school, uh, certain section or course, uh, whereas yung ating Moodle is uh, very uh, open for lahat ng usage mo. Uh, okay lang kay Moodle. All right. Um, the, another here. Uh, it's a question from San Carlos City, Pangasinan, from Romeo Winston Dizon. Uh, how to how to access restriction, Paul? Do you want to go back to the uh, screen? Yeah, sure, Paul. Sure. Okay. How to access restric restriction? Uh, when you are in your week one, for example, make sure again to turn editing on. Okay. Because uh, if if there is no turn editing on, you cannot use uh, what I'm doing right now. So you have to go to your week one and then at at the right side of the screen, you can see the edit and then click the edit topic. OK, you just scroll down so pinakababa po, at the bottom of the screen. You will see the restrict access. OK, when you are clicking the when you click the restrict access, you can click add restriction and then click the date. So uh, this will be the options for you. You click the date twice if you want uh, to, to have this um, a date from and until, but if you want the, the module to be open, probably you just click uh, when do you want to start the week. For example, uh, August 21. And then the next is August 28th, and then the next is August, ah, uh, September 7th. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. All right, uh, for every, uh, would you just like to inform everyone that the Moodle link that was sent to you or the account, actually, no, uh, that we're working on is courtesy of Far Eastern University. So it's the school that has purchased this access for you to work on. And I guess still a few others are having problems with their internet connection. And so uh, the solution here is if you're missing out on the face of the instruction, you can always review the video later on and then play, pause as you practice on your respective Moodle accounts. All right, so uh, question, uh, Richmond, 
can we still use this Moodle account after the training or do we have to make our own Moodle account that we can use in our class for the coming semester? In using the, the, the free, uh, you can use it for practice for a year. So starting August 14 until August 14, 2021, you, uh, 2021, you are free to use this Moodle account for practice purposes. But if you want the students to actually um, uh, apply it, also in your uh, in your class, you can have free model accounts online. Just uh, search for free model. Uh, any any company na nag, uh, that offers it, uh, it's okay. But then yung gamitin. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So can we now proceed with the next uh, steps? So I'm um, just sure, a sir, which one? Okay, can, go ahead. Can some of the audience acknowledge that they're finished? Uh, all right, so, uh, let me see. Please again, um, type into the Q&A and let us know. Let us know if you were able to successfully follow the instructions and if you have finished doing the week one topic, okay, and the access. Please let me know, uh, I'll read it. Sa Saidamir from Cotabato is done. Okay. I haven't. Uh, all right. PUP Manila is done. Julius. Okay. Tagig City. Uh, Mark Vincent Malamit is finished. Yay. No. Nice. From Jovelin Abelia from Cebu Technical University. Uh, MSU at Naawan is done. Ranyo Sadan, Julius, okay. So, uh, Sheena, Doria, done also in Pangasinan. Good. Sir Fernando is done, done. Michael from uh, LPT, okay. Nawira is having poor connection. Anyway, you can re rewind this later on and follow through. But please make sure it's open so that we can proceed. All right, CSU is done. Okay, the others are a little late. Okay, can we now proceed to the next part? Sure. Um, okay, our okay. next part is managing the resources. So, uh, in order for us to present effectively our instruction in our classes, you need first to post kung ano yung mga ipapabasa nyo sa kanila, di ba? So, um, how do we do that in Moodle? Okay, so again, tapos na po tayo sa editing the topics. Let's go into the add an activity or a resource. So let's focus first on the resources. Actually, the whole training for today is to focus on the critical skills and features of Moodle that you are and we believe that you can use in your classes during this uh, pandemic. OK, so let's start with add an activity or resource. So just click on that. May maglalo, there, there will be a, a, a pop-up screen wherein you just click the resources tab so you won't be confused on every uh, feature of uh, Moodle here. So let's go to the resources. And what will I will discuss is just the file, the page, and the URL, okay? Again, the file, the page, and the URL. Okay. Let's go with the file. This is the uh, one of the most used feature of uh, the model. Okay, let's go. And you will be asked for the title of the file. For example, I'll choose um, the file for introduction. So please wait for this because Moodle is a, a te technical term is indexing. So it finds similar titles and it will not permit you to do that para at least uh, there, there's a counter check if oh you you already have uploaded it so uh, introduction to uh, mathematics reading okay and then you can add a description if you want and then this file okay. you can drag or and drop files 
uh, here to them to add. Okay, so what I will do is since you cannot see, I just drag, siguro, uh, I'll, I'll add a file, then you will see the reaction later. Uh, probably kunyari na lang po ito po yung aking uh, introduction to mathematics okay uh, para mas malit lang po kasi yung ating storage mas madali i-upload okay so um, these are this is the file you can also add other files if you want but for now ganyan na lang siya let's uh, dig in to some of the information here uh, appearance okay it's up to you if you want to show the size, for example, for the student to know, okay, I'm downloading a 5 MB file. You can click uh, show size. You can also click show type. For example, I'm downloading a document. Okay, that's it. Show upload and modify date where, uh, for example, you uploaded it first and then if you re-uploaded it, then there's the modify date. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll skip to common module settings. Again, I will discuss the most critical thing that you have to learn. Uh, and then everything follows na lang po. You can add also restrictions. Remember, the topics has restriction. You can also restrict the access here. For example, a date. Okay, I, I, I don't want this file to be accessed on a certain date. Ganun din po, uh, it's the same setup as what topics is uh, being uh, set up. Okay. But I'll, I'll remove this. So anything that is hidden here are defaulted to probably the most use of uh, what, what Moodle think is the best for the customization, okay? Okay, and then activity completion. Students can manually mark the activity as completed. You can uh, have this for the students to get this uh, environment wherein if I'm finished, I'll check this mark and then that's it. So after which, let's save and display. Okay, that's it. Um, Mom Liz, another activity po they have to create a file and upload it on Moodle. Probably their, uh, the, the most simple, simplest file that they have uh, is okay. Any questions so far? Okay, can we, if you want, we can do it uh, again. Uh, would, would that be okay, uh, Rich? Sure, ma'am, sure. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll be uploading another file. Just click an activity or resource under the topic. Okay, just click here. Click resources. Okay, and then click the file icon. After which I'll be redirected to a file uh, here option so again introduction to math let's just wait for it again and then i'll be dragging and dropping something There, so these are the files, and again the appearance. For example, I don't want, I want to show the file size, so that the students are aware. If, for example, they are upload, uh, downloading a large file, at least they are, uh, uh, they can um, adjust to it. Okay, show the type. Uh, that is, it, is it a PDF, docx, or any file type for that matter, and then show upload and modify. It date when did the uh, file was uploaded okay. so i'll just uh, skip on this and focus on the restrict access like in the topic you can restrict when should the student access for example 
uh, this is from uh, the student can access it between August 22 to until August 24. Okay, uh, and then that's it. Save and return to course. Now you can uh, see those files. Okay, and, and there's this uh, uh, prompt in our teacher wherein it says it's on or after uh, uh, August 22 to 23. Mom Liz? Yeah, a few were able to catch up actually. Um, they've they've been updating me. You know? So to all our participants, please constantly update us so we know if we could move on to the next activity or not. Now, for, there are a couple of you uh, prompting me that you have very poor internet connection for some reason. And uh, some of you have not received their Moodle or you, you don't know why you couldn't access your Moodle. Now, to resolve this, and so as not to also uh, put everyone on hold, you can always replay this later on. The link that was sent to you to join uh, for today's section can be accessed once again later today, and you can click it twice, and that uh, leads you to the recording of the event. So you can always play it back on, on your during your free time, and at your own pace, you can follow the instructions. So that way you are more familiar into the navigation of Moodle, okay? So allow me to proceed now. Please allow us to proceed with the next activity if that's fine with you. Um, you may go ahead, Rich. Okay, ma'am. So uh, again, after every feature of uh, Moodle, you can follow through. We'll give, we, we are giving you five minutes after my presentation. For example, I've, I've discussed pages, then uh, after which you can follow through and create your own page on Moodle. Okay, I hope that's clear, Ma'am Liz. Uh, I'll proceed now. Uh, let's go to the next resource that's important. Okay, uh, aside from file, you can present your uh, um, your 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 probably your lecture in a page. Okay, page. Ano ba siya? It's like a blog where you can write the, the contents of the file. So that the students can directly access and do not, uh, probably do not uh, download the, the file that you want to, to show them or the contents that you want to show them, especially if it's 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 just a, a content, uh, a plain text, then okay lang po that they download it, uh, they they view it on Moodle. So for example, uh, this is uh, why mathematics kanyare is important. Again, let's wait for it. Rich, besides uh, MS Word, they can also attach PowerPoint, right? Yes, anything, ma'am. Anything, uh, anything, as long as it's not a virus uh, because it will delete, it will be deleted by the server. So, any Actually, any installable file, if you want, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's this one question. If pwede po mo maglagay ng time sa restriction, like your deadline is uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'll, I'll give it sa page na lang, but uh, eventually all all of the ano, all of the presentations today, there is this restrict access at the bottom of every feature. So yes, you can add uh, here the time beside the date there's this time okay, all right okay yes you may Thank proceed you, several you. of them are updating me yes they've done it they're successful okay wow. go ahead. <laughs> so uh rest i will not demo anymore the restrict access because this applies to every uh, resource that uh, we have today okay so from pages to file to link the restrict access, pare paras po yan ang feature, okay? okay uh, why mathematics is important, the description, um, siguro a, a synopsis of what you have to discuss, and then, okay, uh, here at the bottom of the screen, the content. This is where you write uh, the, the press the, the contents. 
for example, I'll probably I'll, I'll copy this na lang. Wait lang po. So I have a content. So if you happen to notice, we have the same editor for this one and this one. Because actually, uh, uh, for um, a page can embed a YouTube video. So I'll teach you on how to do that. Uh, for example, siyempre si teacher rich na lang po. I'll, I'll demo it to you. So uh, how do we embed YouTube video in any editor for that matter? Whether it's a, an assignment, a quiz, a forum, anything that has editor, you can e embed a video, okay? Uh, for example, this one, self-discussing PowerPoint slideshow. This is one of my videos uh, wherein I teach you on how to uh, create a PowerPoint na nagdi-discuss mag-isa. Hindi nyo na uulit-ulitin yung pagdi-discuss. Okay? Wait lang. So, uh, when I click this video, at the bottom of, uh, no, bottom of my video, there's this share icon. Click this one, and then copy this link. Ayan. Then, let's go back to the editing page. And then, siguro, I'll, I'll posin it position it here sa pinaka taas. And then click the video icon here. That's beside the microphone. Click the video tab and then paste it here. Insert the media and then yun na yun. So again, uh, I'm adding a page where the students can read inside Moodle. They don't have to download any file anymore. I can add a YouTube video inside. Okay, and then add a text here. Again, the text here are only accessible inside Moodle. They don't have to download it. Now, aside from that, you can add a bold text. You uh, very, uh, very basic uh, Layout. Of model, for example, I want this bold and then italicize and then make it a bullet. No. You can explore that later and then save and display. Mom, Liz, uh, they can now try to use this. You can also embed video if you want. All right. So uh, if you have your if you have in your files some videos right now, you can try it. Otherwise, uh, Rich, if they don't have any existing video files right now, yeah, it's okay. Um, I they understand. They would have to download. Uh -uh. Yes, ma'am. I understand there are issues of internet connection, but if they want to explore later on, it's okay if you just at least create a page with a text on it. All right. Meron lang talo si Professor Araceli Sukat. I so yeah. I'm sorry. Um, to start with the dashboard, what do I click next, please? Because I'm not a problem with Mom Araceli. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Mom, when you create that, uh, when you are in the dashboard, prob that that's the very home page of your and uh, upon logging in, you just click the practice course uh, in your Moodle. Okay, after which uh, you will be directed to a practice course and then click the turn editing on for you to be able to follow through our demonstrations. Okay, thank you. Um, for the other participants, please let us know where you are so we know, uh, so we have an idea whether we can proceed with the next activity. Three Can minutes type in, okay. in the Q&A? Three All minutes, right. I think it's okay, ma'am, for this type of, uh, type okay. of activity. Before we proceed with the next one. Yes, well, you can even, uh, it would be best if you can download, if you have already video files, even for a short one, you can, you, or you can open YouTube right now. Yes. Um, look for anything that you can download, the Maikli Lang, and then copy the URL. This is how I usually download, and so I can save the file. I use the nsave, uh, nsave.net. Um, that one does not show you any kinky pictures or what. It's safer. nsave, E-N. 
sav.net. So you, the URL that you copied for the video that you open on YouTube, copy the address URL and go to nsafe.net, paste the, paste the URL there, and then it tells you download. Click that, and then it will show you it is finished downloaded. It's quite fast. And then you can download it again and save the file into your uh, folders. So I hope you were able to do that. Okay, uh, Joey Maniulit from Taguig City says, Okay, he has done it. Very nice, sir. Uh, very nice, sir, uh, Rich. Okay. All right. Uh, Joe actually, Portuna. maganda. Ma'am Liz, oh, maganda po when you uh, uh, embed a video in YouTube because uh, aside from we, you are, we are helping the content uh, creators, um, it is very important to know if the administrator of the model is limiting the file size. I, I'm sure you've experienced that when we uh, have this Canvas uh, um, uh, implementation, right? So we have limited storage. So maganda po when you embed YouTube because it does not save any storage sa uh, model natin. That's great. Oh, okay, feedback na from Joanne Fortuna, Cavite State University. I'm done with activity three. I'm amazed that I can upload a YouTube video. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> then there's a question here uh, from Rowena Akasha uh, from Pine City Colleges. Are there is there any limit with regards to the size of files to be uploaded in Moodle? Yes, uh, ma'am, uh, that depends on your administrator. Some of administrators are giving limits such as 500 MB because, uh, again, they can encourage everyone to at least upload it in YouTube na lang and then at least embed it on. Ano. Parehas din po kasi kumakain ng online resources, yung both Moodle and also YouTube. All right. Um, there are still some people having problems with their access with the, to the Moodle. Um, I was sent by Miss Chini uh, a link. Okay, please post for those without Moodle account. Please post here. HTTPS colon slash slash padlet dot com slash Chini C H E N E E D I N O slash. Nako ang hirap to pag in announce. I would suggest, uh, Miss Chini, you kindly paste it for the announcement because even if I announce it, it'll be very difficult for them to follow through. All right. Wait. Hindi, uh, abut ka rich. Wag ka magalala. Abut tayo sa quizzes. Okay. Fernando, uh, Miss Chini will give you the link to the. Oh, it's already pasted. All right, good. Thank you, Ms. Mayet. Please check again the announcement. It tells you for those who are having problems with the access of Moodle, how to get uh, in, and then uh, also for Chini and PPI to know uh, how they may be able to assist you because actually others who um, called our attention finally got through. Okay, Fernando Siquete of MSU says, okay, he got it, perfect. Okay, here is a question from San Carlos City, Pangasinan, from Romeo Winston, Dizon. After page, where to leak on content? Uh, what do you mean content? Uh, the pages is uh, designed for content, sir. So you can add at least contents there uh, if you want to discuss everything there, like uh, this is step one and then a video, and then if you want a file also to embed, that's okay in the content. It's like, it's like a PDF but in Moodle format. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh huh. Don from Capita State College, Leo of Davao, Don. So good. PUP Manila Julius, Don. Cannot upload video. Restricted only. How's this? Oh. Uh, all right. So maybe you have to get a smaller file? Smaller file. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. And Thank then, Kent, CTU, Don. Okay, many of you were able to follow through. This is good. I'm done with activity three. Thank you, Sir Rich from uh, Iloko Sur. Okay, I guess several of you were successful. Let's proceed with the next activity. Okay, okay. This go is ahead, just, Sir Rich. Yeah, this is just a quick uh, um, resource because it's just a URL. For example, you have a research that you want to the students to read. For example, I'll search on Scholar, Google Scholar. Okay. Okay, teaching and learning. So I'll, I'll copy, for example, this one. Copy this link. I'll, I'll visit this one. 
assuming na nag-load na po yan. I'll copy this link. Okay. And then, just add an activity again or a resource here and click the URL. Meaning po ng URL is Uniform Resource Locator. Uh, it's, it's in layman's term, term, iyan po yung www.google.com. That's, that's URL. Okay, just click on it and then you will be directed to a page. You have the name. For example, I, 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 I copy this one of enjoyment of learning among teacher education. Uh, pwede din po ang YouTube video dyan. Okay? Yung ginawa po natin kanina, when we click the share, sorry, here, copy this, and then yun din po yung URL na ilalagay nyo dito. Okay. Again, let's just wait for it to load. Yeah, enjoyment of learning. Siguro ganyan na lang po. And then, let's copy the link. Okay? To copy the link, just uh, highlight this one, and then right click, and then copy. And then let's paste it here. There. Okay. The appearance, uh, it's just a display embed. This means that uh, the student will not be redirected to another window. Uh, the embed will be uh, basically nasa loob siya. Okay. When, when the student visits the, the URL that you gave, May Moodle pa rin dyan, nandiyan yung controls, and then nandun lang siya sa loob ng Moodle. Okay? And then also open, of course. Uh, that's the automatic part na open. And then pop up, meaning it will open another window na maliit. So the students can at least see the Moodle in the background, and then uh, a window, small window will pop up so that they can read the window. So siguro open na lang po tayo. Open. And then yun lang po. Let's save it. Uh, Ma'am Liz, again, another activity. You need to add at least one URL in your topic. All right. So uh, kindly open a browse uh, into your browsers, open a page, and then click anything. It'd be a news, a news or any item that you're interested in. Copy the URL, please, and then follow what was asked of you. Kindly link a URL into your week one for the activities, right? So please let us know if you were able to successfully do it so we can proceed with the next. Ma'am, two minutes, okay then, or one minute, pwede na po. Okay, one minute na, so because it's actually, uh, there's a, a couple of uh, activities have, that have been lined up for, for this presentation, but I we're glad that you're able to do now the actual loading no, into your pages. Yes, for, the, for those who are not um, able to catch up, you can always play this back later on. Don Intagig, Vincent, Don, Julius of PUP. All right, maybe hear from the others. We're saying we're just in a minute. In a few more seconds, we are going to start. Finish, Sir Fernando from MSU. Okay, Billy Ron. Oh, good morning. Natapos mo. Okay, can we now proceed? Done embedding, very good. Mm -hmm. Davao, done, yes. All right. Okay, can we now proceed to the next activity? Yes, ma'am, sure. All right, go. So, okay. so um, I'll, I'll give you background on this, uh, these concepts or, or features of Moodle. With, um, this is about the groups and groupings, grades and grades. So, Magka, uh, it's important that you know, no? aside from plotting everything here, kailangan po nating malaman if ano, uh, what, what assessment grades uh, we are going to use or who are the group, uh, uh, what do you call this, who are these group members in a certain group. So let's define first what is a group and a grouping. A grouping is uh, is defined as as a collection of groups in a certain activity. For example, you have this activity one, and then inside that are the group names. Okay, the group names have group members. So that's uh, the definition of grouping on Moodle. 
and then the group is just the container of the members groupings is the overall the the container of all the groups okay i hope you got that right um, okay I'll, I'll go to the participants the participants is equivalent to the people in other lms participants are listed here and then uh, you will be grouped here for example i'll, I'll go to the chad bayanihan main course here so i i have the list of participants dito okay. and push so uh, i have to um, have the groupings here okay the participant groupings are listed at the cog or gear icon at the right side of the participants heading Okay. Groups. Let's click on it. This is not uh, an activity that you were going to do today, but to, to demonstrate it, uh, I have to project it here, and this might be. Reach question. Do, um, do they have the? Do they also have access to the FEU chat? I know. Yes, ma'am. Uh, there are there for the participants. Yes, ma'am. The all the participants. Well. Okay. All of the students are enrolled here as students, not as faculty members here. But the prime, uh, the the practice course, they're enrolled as teachers, so they could get along with the. Yung ginagawa po nila today, uh, in activities are in their their practice courses. Just to uh, demonstrate, no. Uh, the groupings because in this course we have 500 enrolled students. Okay. So again, the groupings are the, to be for, set first, not the groups. You have to set the group one. For example, create activity, uh, create grouping, sorry, and then write activity two. Yeah. Uh, grouping number probably two. Okay, so in this uh, interface, it says that for activity one, these are the groups inside it. Now I create groups again for activity two. Uh, you go to groups tab and then click create group. For the participants, you are not be able to do this because you don't have any enrolled students yet. Um, for reasons na practice pa lang siya. But we will do, uh, we will create students soon. We'll create the students soon. So that you could practice the groupings. We will also you give you uh, an account as student para ma-practice siya. Okay. So let's go. Uh, group name for uh, the activity two, And then let add at. So what will happen with the ad? This is uh, uh, required. This is required. So I'll add two. And then at the bottom of the screen, let's see. Save changes. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that, that's not the create group pala. It's auto create. The create group is per group, which is uh, very tasking for you. What I would want you to know is this auto create groups wherein you can create. Yeah, for example, group A1. This is a, a fixed group A1 and then at will be replaced by something which is I will show you later. Members per group, I'll say five members per group. So the system, let's skip everything here. The system will automatically generate a group for you. So you don't have to drag and drop each of the students. Okay, The grouping name, sorry, is activity two here, which we uh, created yet, kanina.
so rich. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. This means that uh, in the autocreate, the, it's the system or it's the computer that mm -hmm. randomly pairs or groups yes. the students no, enroll in your class into the into groupings. So that's how it works. You don't have to manually select uh, who mm -hmm. would belong to group one, two, three, four, five. Now, exactly. again, it's randomly uh, generated. Yes. So as it is right now, you don't have your class, uh, your student listings. So mm -hmm. at least be familiar with the process. The bus are rich. Yes, ma'am. You can uh, uh, always replay this uh, video for reference. Okay, so ayan na po. Um, we have activity two and then we created group one A. Instead of at kanina, uh, the, the Moodle replaced the at sign with A, 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 B, A, C. So you don't have to manually um, rename all the groupings, okay? So that's uh, how group works and groupings. And then let's go to grades. Where are the grades? It's here. Here. So what I want to show you is the setup feature of grade wherein you can group the grades by for example midterm so under midterm these are the activities that were uh, created so i can assign the weight of it and then the overall weight for example 100 percent for midterm grade so therefore uh 100 percent if you add another 100 percent for finals then that's 200%. So uh, just want you to see that there is what we call weight setup in group uh, in in grades. So that in the future, if you if you set up all of your activities, you have to configure this first for the the Excel file to be accurate. But if you don't want to configure it and you have the template for your university, for example, you just have to export the grades that are present in Moodle. So you don't have to, okay, student A, ilan yung grade niya sa exercise one? Um, what uh, what student uh, B or the group B had the grade for exercise two? You just have to export the grade and then click download. Okay, again, paano mag-export ng grade? You have to click the grades, export, and then download. So all of the set grades of the students on assignments and quizzes will be listed and exported in an Excel file. You don't have again to manually check what the student grades per individual. Okay. Mom Liz? All right, is that clear? Okay, you type again, please, uh, if you were able to follow through. What uh, Sir Richman has just presented a while ago is how you're going to assign uh, one, uh, create groups, and then you have also assignment of points or uh, percentages for certain activities. And then apparently Moodle, just like Canvas, uh, keeps track of each student's performance. And then, uh, as he mentioned, if you want to look at if your midterm has an equivalent of 100% and each activity you have already allocated certain points or percentages to it, it computes that and you can export the file into Excel. Wow, ganun ka dali, no? Oh, you don't have to manually encode per person and already it computes for you. Ma'am, yes, so ma'am. Okay. Tapos na tayo right. sa era ng ano, ng we take home the multiple choice uh, rim of bad papers, di ba? And mm. then uh, encoded isa-isa. So what model is uh, uh, giving us help is the, the objective types are automatically checked and then scored and then exported to Excel. How easy is that, di ba? Mm -hmm. Okay. Meron lang uh, tanong. Uh, one more time, one more time. Uh, again, could you please explain Rewind a little bit in making the groupings. Medyo na nawawala okay. sa yung sa at, at, at. Okay, sa, one sa more grouping. time. Sige, All this right. will just be click, uh, quick, ma'am, kasi it's 1019. So again, uh, the groupings are accessed through participants. Okay, the participants uh, menu here, the heading, 
you just go to your uh, right side of the screen and then click the actions menu to access the groups okay. and then after which the first thing you have to set up is the groupings kasi ito po ang container this is the container of the groups again groupings is the large part wherein all the groups are contained there and then the definition of groups is the per member okay uh, uh, in, in layman's term probably this is the barangay and then this is the family of the barangay okay so group groupings you have to create first a group grouping for example activity three for it activity three and then save changes and then after which punta na tayo sa family sa groups so you can add a group isa isa or you can auto create uh, I, i'll probably demo this one because this is the most uh, functional and practical way of doing it you can name this whatever you want, but don't forget to add the at sign because this is the Moodle um, uh, auto assign letter. Okay. So, Sir Rich, example, the group name is example, uh, history of, sorry, history of Kalamba, pwede. Yes, ma'am. Maybe this group is assigned to present the history of Kalamba. Then the number of groups, okay, members per group. How many would you want? Do you want, let's say, three, sir, para mabago naman. We need three members in a group. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Do you want, okay, then after then, which? Let's submit. Submit. All right. Yes. Then randomly, the computer Oops. groups them into three, correct? Uh, yes, ma'am. Sorry, okay. I have to set the grouping. I forgot it. Uh, set the group to activity three, which was uh, created a while ago. Then that's it. All right. I will just wait for it because uh, it since it's three, mas madami pong group ang ginagawa ni Mude. The good thing if it's randomly created is that they will never say, "Ay, may favorite si Sam Susser." You may be matatalino ay isang group sa masama lahat. <laughs> You know? May mga ganas talaga. So they cannot fault you. Yes, All right. So. Okay. Okay. So let's let's proceed, now, ma'am. Or there are questions. Yeah. Okay. So I think uh, that solves it. Anyway, if you're still having some problems there, uh, much later on during the lunch break, so Guru, you can create names in the as kunwari as students, you know, so you can practice, and then later on do it on your own. And should you have any other problems later on, get in touch with us or Sir Richmond directly so that um, you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Yeah, sure. All right, so let's proceed. Sa kanya lang, hey. humingi ng YouTube na ano mo. Uh, YouTube. Um, ah, sige, mamaya na. <laughs> mamaya na yan. Proceed yes, na tayo. Uh, po. So let's go to the main uh, where you can interact uh, with the students. So what we did kanina is you just uh, create, a, oops, I, I have to shift again to another my sample course sorry so what we did kanina is uh, we had uh, just post everything uh, now we have to interact with the students and how to do that is first the assignments again yesterday i discussed that we have do not feel, uh, let the students feel that they're alone you have to create an announcement for example to at least give them some reminders uh, on on what should they do no? or any 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 topic that you had uh, um, have to discuss in the next weeks at least you have the medium the announcements so in order to create an announcement you just click the announcement uh, link here at the top of your course yeah and then let's add a new topic so again ulitin ko na lang po so we won't be uh, repeating it later in order to access the announcements again make sure to turn that editing on okay click the announcements and then click a new topic okay this will trigger another editor for you 
the editor is also the same. If you want to add uh, a YouTube video here, you can also add a YouTube video. So, for example, my announcement is walang pasok. Which is tama, wala pong pasok bukas, di ba? Pero meron tayo, ha? Ah, po, meron tayo. Wala lang pasok po sa, ano, sa classes. <laughs> Walang pasok, uh, uh, Ninoy Aquino Day 21 for tomorrow. Uh, that's it. You have to post on forum, forums and then that's it. You have the announcement. So another task from Liz is to at least create one announcement for uh, them to see your announcement. Please. Yeah, go ahead. Um, all right, there are no questions here so far. So it's a matter of making announcements. So can you follow? Did, did the rest of you uh, get it? Uh, uh, that's just a two step process, no? Two, okay. two, three step process. All right, so far, wala naman. Ang tanong, the, the, the only thing that they're saying here is that some of them could have catch up because of the internet connection. But once again, the link that is provided to you can be accessed tonight. Not for the recording, uh, mm -hmm. because we're still rolling, hindi pa po tayo tapos, okay? Yes. So, ngayong gabi niyo ma-access ang recording, and then that's how you can follow through. All right, so far, no questions. The created announcement, done. Done, oh, man. No process wow, also in BARM. Yeah, uh, actually, well, uh, BARM New Year. Mag magandang, oh. magandang practice po to because uh, there, there, there is this there are steps that are, is repeating to each mo, each activity for example you have to save it and then alam niyo kung saan located yon kasi pare paras po siya ng interface so yeah. as we go along mapapansin niyo po mas nagagamay niyo ay nasasanay na po kayo in in using Moodle sobrang matadalian na kayo Okay, let's put time check. It's 1026. Mahaba pa, marami pa ipi present si sir, no? So, okay, medyo, I hope you don't mind. Hindi naman sobrang bilis, but uh, again, pwede nyo naman ipi. Let's go to the next activity, sir Rich. Okay, ma'am, ma Liz, our next activity is how to create the assignment, okay? Again, the definition of assignment in Moodle, what as discussed on the first day, is um, anything that is subjective in nature for example you have to create uh, require the students to submit a file you require them to submit an essay no? which is not automatically checked by Moodle because it's an essay right? um, you you can use assignments for that so how do we do that inside or in the topic uh, in the topic week one for example you have to create Again, another activity. Kanina, resource po yung ginawa natin. Let's go to activity and then click assignment. After clicking it, I'm sure familiar kayo. Pare-pares lang po yan ng interface. For example, I'll go here and type formative assessment. Let's just wait for it again. While waiting, Ma'am Quiz, uh, Ma'am Liz, may question po ba dyan? Well, the main concern nila, inihirapan sila sa grouping. It's okay po, during lunch break, pwede kayo mag-create ng mga pangalan dyan sa, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kunwari, yes, estudyante nyo. Then you can okay. practice the grouping. All right. Tama, tama. So, nahirapan sila magsumunod doon. All right. So, let's go. Yeah, may formative yeah. assessment. Go. Okay, formative assessment one and write the description. Excuse me. For example, uh, when uh, did the GCQ start in AMM? It's more objective. Eh? Um, what can you say about uh, Manila going to GCQ again? And, okay. So you can post multiple questions here if you want, uh, but in the layout of Moodle is uh, it will also display as one. So, hindi po pwede yung question and then um, essay, question, essay. Ganit. So, let's, uh, siguro, eto na lang yung question. And then you can add files, for example, uh, this is the, your resource for this assignment. You can do that. You can also leave this blank. This is not required. And then, let's uh, define the availability. 
it's important to know uh, this is also present in quiz. It's important to know that availability allows submissions from uh, these options are optional and these options are not re to required to be filled out. But if you want to restrict or uh, have the discipline of the students, for example, uh, I want the students to submit from starting August 20. And then I want the students to submit until uh, 27. Pero ano ba yung cut off and due date? What's the difference of this? Due date is uh, when the students are allowed to submit that is not yet marked late. Okay. Once that uh, the student submitted, for example, cut off date is 28. Yeah. The students can still submit 27 to 28, but it's now marked late. Okay. It's now marked late. And then if you want, okay, remind me to grade by and dami kong klase, so please. Remind me to grade by September 3. It's important that the students receive a feedback from you because at least they can monitor virtually what their what the performance is or what their performances are during the whole semester. So must, might as well set this para at least uh, you have the discipline of the students. You have also the discipline na uh, maggrade ako by September 3. Okay. And then the next is uh, submission types where your students can uh, submit inside Moodle using an online text or a file submission. Okay. So in online text first, you can uh, also limit, for example, hindi mo na kailangan sabi na oh, you're limited to 1,000 words. You can just put 1000 here and then automatic this the model uh, will determine if it's already 1000 so for the minimum wala po it's always the maximum okay uh, for example naman you are requiring them for file submissions in file submissions we have a different option for example oy, isa lang ang gusto ko i-upload nyo uh, there are students kasi that uh, for example you posted five items here. They also uh, submit five file and five uh, no, documents. So very, very tasking say na uh, you have to download the five files. So, okay, and then I'll probably get uh, one MB per file. And then for this one, uh, you don't have to memorize na ano ba yung mga PowerPoint formats. You just pick the choose if you want. If you don't have to memorize it, uh, I want the students to submit audio files. So just click this one, and then lahat na po yan, I check nyo, okay? Or I want the students to submit any type of document. Ito lang yan. Okay. For in my part, I want the students, for example, to submit an image file that is in JPEG format. So, and a PNG. At the bottom of the screen, you will see save changes. And then that's it. Automatic, uh, it, the, the, the model will determine that the student should submit JPEG or PNG. And then this one, feedback. Uh, if you want the comments, of course, you have to check the comments. It's, it's not, sabi nga ni Sir Harold, it's not just grading them 70% yesterday, diba? Uh, it's important that the students know why they are 70%. So let's, uh, uh, we'll, we'll skip on this and then uh, proceed to the grade. Okay. The grade is important because uh, it's up to you if you want to scale, for example, uh, which is uh, will not be discussed here, because again, it's core. So we have 100. So it could be a percentage. For example, in my, my course, I use percentage so that uh, mas madali nilang ma-interpret but 100%. Uh, 
So again, uh, this one grading method, it's simple direct grading or a rubric. Ayan. Ito yung sinasabi po ni Sir Harold that uh, in model, you, you should add a rubric, uh, which is which would be discussed later after saving this course. And then grade category, what will ano nila, we'll, uh, skip on that. And then again, restrict access, uh, which is also present in other uh, features of Moodle. And then let's save and return to course. Now, let's uh, try to check the formative assessment. Yeah. So let's try to edit it. And then check. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and then save and display. Okay na siya. Ma'am Liz, uh, uh, at least create one formative assessment. This will be siguro my last uh, presentation for today. Uh, the quiz actually and forum is suited for the creating the community for next uh, tomorrow. And also I will uh, uh, add other ele uh, outside LMS features which can we we can use for teaching and learning. Ma'am, please. Okay, clarification, Rich. Uh, yes, the other activities will not be pursued this morning. Yes, ma'am. Sa kanin natin pagpapatuloy. Uh, ma'am, uh, This is the uh, last presentation natin. Yes, ma'am. The community, uh, creating a community in teaching and learning, which will be tomorrow. Ah, okay. So, tomorrow, meron pang additional yes, na mga, ano, uh, our yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. All right. So, so far, okay. So, please kindly post your questions now. One among them is from Erdi Kahurao. Um, hold on. Uh, which version of Moodle are you using? Is it 3.9? Uh, we have 3.9 because uh, uh, it should be uh, all of our administrators are mandated to update in the latest Moodle for security purposes. So what we are presenting now is also the 3.9. Okay. Um, all right. There are... Ma'am well, uh, uh, kaya ko po maagang tinapos kasi we have an activity for the... Discussion. Okay. Uh, from Taguig City, done, formative. Okay, very good. And then also with Fernando. All right. Who else are done with the formative? assessment anyone else okay mark vincent from tagig also is done i use multiple monitor to task simultaneously <laughs> yeah you can use your smartphones to monitor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then at the same time encode all right uh, it is uh, from julius it is important to set the file submission type in making assignment since it would allow you to meet the maximum file size submission requirement Yes, Is that po. correct, uh, Sir Rich? Uh, actually, right. mag, mag, maganda pong i-set niyo yung limits because the students, for example, using, uh, sorry, Mac, Mac operating system, they might use other platforms for creating a Word file which might not be compatible to yours. So maganda pong you have set the boundaries first. And also, tama si Sir, in, in concept, at least you can limit it. For example, document, that's very rare that you have a uh, a 100 MB document, diba? So at least you have to limit it using those files, file types. All right. Uh, Kabita State Resin is also done. So that's, uh, so is with Noli uh, of me, MSU. Joanna from Ilocos is also done. Joan Fortuna, Joan Fortuna from CBSU. All right. Uh, Joe Mani Ulit is using his smart TV as well as he, as well uh -huh. for a simulation. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, All right. And then. Uh, ano ko, ng channel ko. So, yeah. You, you, you just YouTube, search on ano it. Ko, channel. Yes. Naka project po. Uh, naka, uh, just search on it. Teacher reads sa uh, YouTube. Makikita nyo po yun yung nakaganon. Yan. <laughs> Nakaganyan na ano. Na may cap. Yan po. Yan po ako. Ma'am Liz, may papagawa po tayo uh, for them. Uh, in, naka set na po siya. I hope everything, everyone is finished. You have to check on 
the FEU Ched Bayanihan course. You are a student there. Please answer yung activity one day four. Again, please answer activity one day four. I'm I'm uh yan, yan, yan. Here, activity one day four. Para po, we know and we feel how the students feel when answering a question of an assignment type. Ma'am Liz? Yes, I'm having uh, technical problems. I have been, um, I've lost you and I had to rejoin a couple of times, okay? Um, wait. Um, well, a couple of them were able to pick it up. Okay, there's a question actually not pertaining to your presentation, but it's uh, pertaining to the attendance sheet, no? Um, do we have already the link? But that will be done in a few minutes. Time check, it's 1040. Um, okay, some of you really are having problems with connections. Okay, from CPSU, Gurley says done with the assessment. So does uh, Leo Rayon from Davao del Norte. Tagig City, Flor de Lisa Ferrer, Lea Ingala of, uh, uh, yeah, Capi State University. All right, and the Filipino Canadian Community Foundation College. Jason is done. It's only the group, and you can do that over lunch break. Okay. All right, one says, okay, I've subscribed to so YouTube uh, since day one. Si Mark Vincent Malangit of Tagil. I tell you, it's very helpful. I hope you can have something for LMS, for Moodle, no? All right. Okay. Uh, Rich, that's about it. Those are the questions I've, I've received. So what is the pleasure? Uh, do we now have uh, So Wait. Is there anything you wish to add, um, Rich, before we wind up? Yes, ma'am. Um, we are requiring them to uh, submit an assignment in the FEU Ched Hi Ed Bayanihan, if you happen to see this uh, icon, uh, just click on it and then click on the Activity 1 assignment. Okay po. Again, go back to your home page or dashboard, click uh, this icon, uh, FEU Ched Hi Ed Bayanihan course files, and then please submit the assignment activity one. Please do not answer yet quiz one, discussion one, and a quick survey. What I'm requiring you first is to do the activity one. This is get uh, for you to get uh, the feel of the students and how they submit uh, an assignment. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so again, repeat, there's an activity that you need to do, correct? When will you, when is the deadline for this activity of the uh, it's, uh, reach? It's, uh, it's up to them kung magagawa na po ngayon po. All right. Uh, P. Pai or Josephine uh, Quinones actually made an announcement. Um, you can already check the attendance sheet. Um, I think the the link is provided in the announcement. Please make sure it's in the Q&A. All right, so I know that you still have other activities, but as uh, Sir Richman said, he will do that tomorrow, correct, Sir Rich? The quizzes, yes, etc. Yes, but mm -hmm. only activity one is required. Uh, sana makapag-submit po kayo. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's my mission also to, to show you on how the students um, submit Hindi lang po as a teacher, but you also have the perspective of the student. Thank you. Po. Anong file format daw, sir? Uh, it's, it's, I think it's, it's there. It's, it's listed there. I'll check on it okay. para sure tayo. <laughs> I think this is just an online text. There's no up, uh, upload, ma'am. So you just uh, have to uh, submit it inside Moodle. No uploading of files required. All right. Once again, the question of uh, Agustina Raimundo is, what is the activity? Ma'am, okay na. I think okay na siya. Nasagot na po. Oh, may, may nakasagot na nga eh. Oh. Uh, a couple of them were able to finish immediately, no? The activity one. That's great. Okay. So with that, uh, we would probably have to close this session for this morning. So, Rich? Yes po, ma'am. Sure. Um, I, kung wala na pong questions, um, We'll have to play the lunch break now. Mm -hmm. Mom, yung CIB po nila, how about it? 
All right. The CIB, you're again uh, reminded to please uh, continue working on it. And if you're done, you can immediately email them, uh, email it to us, or are you supposed to post the CIB? How are they going to send this? Uh, can I please get a message from Mayet? Uh, Mayet, you may uh, come on live. Come in live, please, if you have instructions. Yes, good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Yes, uh, we reminded them of the CIB, and uh, the CIB uh, should be uploaded in the model, that one, that one that they have, the model link. Uh, doon nyo po i-upload ang inyong CIB. Kasi doon po titingnan ni teacher uh, Andrea at yung iba pong mga teachers na magbibigay sa atin din po ng um, message or uh, comment dito sa ating uh, either sa announcement or mismo sa inyong uh, CIB. So I hope you can uh, show it, uh, put it there. Yun po, that's it ma'am Liz, sa kanilang model account. Uh, is, uh, so uh, may I ask, uh, Sir Richmond, is it possible that we create a new part of an assignment, CIB uh, activity for that, so they know where uh, to specifically to upload it? Yes, ma'am. Um, it's also uploaded in the active uh, day two of what. Uh, ito, ah, ito okay. po. Uh, so aside from activity one, na, nasa taas lang po siya sample CIB submission bin, so you could submit it na. Uh, this was up day two mismo. So uh, some of the, the the teachers are already uploading dun sa ating ano, sample submission bin. Sample uh, CIP submission bin. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, okay, uh, Pipa, there are uh, requests from the participants. Could you please again post the URL, uh, the link for the attendance for this morning. So with that, let's again uh, thank our techie person, <laughs> Teacher Rich, for his... Um, run through or they he made us really go through the process of uploading assignments uploading activity uh, the i mean creating your groups uh, embedding urls or embedding youtube so that's what we've had this morning so we're thankful that most of you were able to follow through again for those who are who failed to do so because of internet connection or had problems with moodle don't worry you can always review this later on the links provided to you to access day four, you can click it not right now because we are rolling until late the afternoon, but tonight so you can review and again, step by step, go through the process. OK, so we have to uh, close the session for this morning a little early. It's 1047. So on behalf of again, Richmond, Dr. Mayet Rivera, and of course, Ms. Chini Aparicio and on standby was Sir, Sir Joseph Intalan and P. Pai was also on standby for all your queries, especially with the problems on YouTube. Now I'm showing you, by the way, before I bid goodbye, I'm showing you and please flash it. I'm showing you a uh, instruction which we need to uh, do or uh, conduct because tomorrow you will be divided or split into 10 uh, clusters. Um, so for the instruction is for the breakout room registration, we would like you to one register to one cluster. So you have a choice of art appreciation, ethics, contemporary world, life and works of Rizal, mathematics, purposive calm languages, readings in the Philippine history, science, technology and society, understanding the self and the general academics. What does this mean? All of you, I don't know exactly your number right now, earlier this morning you were more than 100, but uh, in the, on the first day where you were more than 200. So I hope we have more participants. Anyway, you select please uh, a group, which particular topic would you be interested in? We have our uh, teachers in this particular subjects to share the experiences on how to handle the courses. Whether they will share with you their CIBs or uh, some of the resources, I, can, I do not know, but that's why that should excite you. So check first, like which particular subjects do I handle in college? So which one would probably, where will I benefit from? But take note. We cannot accommodate 50 people, let's say, in, on, uh, in one cluster. So what we do is we would ask you to identify your choices out of these 10. Please select five. What would be your first, your second, third, fourth, and fifth choice? And then automatically, the room, the registration for that room closes once we reached 
the quota. So make sure you take note of this now. You can start registering over the lunch break. So again, register to one uh, cluster, and then would you register to another if the form has, or the class has or the section has been closed, and then check your email for confirmation that you were admitted to a particular cluster. Then you can log in to the Teams room link tomorrow. Okay, so whenever possible, select three pala, I'm sorry, not five. So select three possible clusters to join it and do that as soon as possible once we bid goodbye. So the participants will only be 20 for each other quota for each cluster is only 20. So make sure you do this as soon as possible. So on behalf again of all the people behind the FEU Ched High Ed Bayanian project, this is Liz Abanto thanking you and I'll see you again. Please be on standby at 1230. Enjoy your lunch.